Hey friends, question. Is the worst vacuum cleaner I've ever shown you still the worst vacuum cleaner I've ever shown you? Well, I've done a, a little mod to it, so let's find out. <laughs> Before we jump into it, I just want to say thank you to uh, a YouTube person. I don't know what, I don't know if you're male or, or female. Uh, Sorcerer 101567, I think your name is. Uh, I've just read your comment on the original video for this vacuum cleaner, and <clears throat> you said that um, the first style of these cleaners was actually. Uh, the cordless one. It was the it, that that was the black one I was thinking of, uh, and I, I yeah I can I can picture it now in my head. It was black and it had like pink writing on it, um, and yeah that was cordless. That's right. And then they uh, took that body style and made this ye yellow one, uh, which is the mains powered version. So yes, thank you for that. You are an absolute star. That's the one I was thinking of, um, and. Somebody else commented and said they've got seven of these. Why on earth would we have seven of these horrific, <laughs> horrific vacuum cleaners? Like, you must be mad. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, as I said, I've done a mod to this cleaner because I could not, I could not get that filter to sit in the dust cup uh, properly. What had happened was, because it had been put in wrong, it had been put in backwards and forced down, the end of it had bent slightly and I think on the dust cup as well there should have been a little clip there kind of like a clip like that so when you slid the filter in the um, the clip went past and then held the uh, filter in place but that's been broken off probably because somebody was trying to force it down there um, and yeah whatever I did I just could not get that filter to sit properly I did manage it once I had poked a screwdriver down and kind of guided it in um, to, to, to the back of the dust cup and that did seem to have uh, latched in, but I really didn't trust it. But the seal of it was absolutely terrible. Um, and when I took the cleaner apart, because quite a few of you said, and quite rightly so, that it sounded horrific. Um, and that's because all of the dirt had gone past the filter because of the terrible seals and the fact that it hadn't been put in right. And it had just cl clogged up the fan. So the fan was absolutely, completely and utterly clogged up with uh, with hair and dust and bits of paper. So that did not help the noise situation at all. Uh, it made it a million times worse. But as I say, I've done a little mod to it and um, surprisingly, it seems to have worked. So I've got it here. Let me show you. When you see it, you'll think, ooh, what's he done? Here's our terrible little cleaner. And there's a hair sticking out. Let's get rid of that. Not pleasant. It's had a really good scrub and a good clean. It's come up quite nice, actually. Uh, I, I will say, I really do like the colour of this cleaner. The colour is really nice. It reminds me of um, year 2000 uh, uh, Millennium Edition Fords. Ford did, I think they did the, um, the Focus and the Ka in like this yellow color for the year 2000 model year um, and I, it was uh, oh and, and the puma that's right that was the third one i was trying to think of it was focus puma and ca because they, they didn't do mondeo in this color that would have been that would have been ridiculous um a custard colored mondeo but this color really puts me in mind of of, of that shade of yellow it's actually quite attractive I like the the yellow and black it um, it works really well the color scheme the, the vacuum cleaner doesn't just to say as well um, as I put in the comment in the last video I found the little plastic cover but that was in the box it, it, it had come off um, during shipping but I found it I must admit it doesn't really seal particularly well on the base um, yeah but there we go, at least it's uh, complete now, so we have everything on it. It sounds much better after I've cleaned the, the fan out, uh, just one singular small diameter fan, it's like it's like that. The, the suction motor is that big, it is so small, it's about two inches long. 
I've never seen such a tiny little motor. It's shocking, really. It's shocking how tiny it is. It doesn't do bad on the, on the, on the old um, airflow side, though. It moves a surprising amount of air for the, the size of, of the motor. Now, as I was saying to you, I've done a little mod to it, and you can see what the mod is. I've actually managed to fit a cloth bag inside the um, dust cup here. Now, this cloth bag is, I think, from a Vax 121, and it's been hanging around on my workbench for years. It's just been, it's just, it's just been there. I haven't done anything with it at all. And I was looking at this, and I noticed that, the, that there's a shaft that runs up in in the middle, where the dirt runs. I guess this is like to, to give you some space to actually fill the dust cup up. And I thought to myself, can I seal that cloth bag onto that shaft and then basically fold the bag inside the dust cup? And it seems to have worked actually. It's quite surprising. So I just take this off like so. Now unfortunately when you take these cleaners apart, because these, um, you probably can't see it from there, but there's this seal here and this seal is stuck on to the top of the cleaner and there's also one down the bottom as well where, where the dust cup um, sits on as well and how these are made is they're they're obviously manufactured uh, but just to say I cannot believe how many screws there are in this thing there are so many screws and it's a right pain in the bum to actually take it apart but when you take the cleaner apart you, you can kind of split it in half and you take certainly when you take the motor out because it's on like a it's on like a mount see this black bit here and on this side these vents that's all kind of one molding really uh, and the motor is part of that molding and when you take it out it rips the seal it's not too bad it is still working but yeah you can kind of tell how they've made it it's so cheap it's just so so cheaply made I mean they wouldn't have been sold for much money anyway um so yeah i just just wanted to point that out it's a shame but um i i guess that's how you can always tell it if these cleaners have been opened up so i'm just going to pop him down here for a second i just want to show you the dust cup so you can see there that the bag is just like uh folded down into the dust cup and it actually you you get a surprising amount of space now it's not obviously a, a huge amount because i'm just going to pull the bag out so that's how big the dust cup is. Let's just see how big this bag is. It's... <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So the <laughs> dust cup ends there and the bag carries on up to here. Um, I think it's actually coming out now. That's not ideal. So you kind of have to fold the bag down and make sure it's open over the um, over the shaft. So you kind of like push it in like this. This is turning into some kind of cookery program. Push it in like this and then put, put it in the oven. Um, and then I find if I fold that over like that, there's just enough space for the bag slide to fit. Just enough, just enough. But that actually works really well because I actually started off with this trying to put a paper bag in it. And I got a Hoover Junior bag and I sort of uh, compared it to the length, or the height of the dust cup. And then I cut the bag um, and then I put the cable tie around it and I just could not get that bag onto that shaft. It just, it would not do it. it um, the paper would fold um, and then there's a couple of like little tiny nubbins on the top of the shaft there and the paper would just hit those, it would rip um, and in the end it was just like, oh, this is ridiculous, this is not working at all. So I needed like a harder bag, really. And I saw this cloth bag lying there and I thought, ah, that's ideal, that's perfect. So yeah, it's worked. And we now have a bagged Electrolux slash Eureka slash the, the Boss Model 401. And yeah, it works too. It actually cleans. Um, I, I think what we'll do is, whilst we're here, because we, we'll take it into the lounge shortly and we'll give it a go. Um, but I just want to plug it in and turn it on whilst we're like this, so then you can you can hear the difference between uh, the sound the motor makes now and what it did. Let's pop the plug in and then we'll turn it on.
So that sounds a million times better than it did when we first looked at it. As I say, surprising amount of airflow. You can really feel the air moving down here at the base. Now this little brush roll is not great. The bristles are really, really soft on it. Like really, really, really soft. Um, and it doesn't have much torque either. There's a tiny little motor in there that's uh, driving that round. So you ain't gonna get some good deep cleaning from this. However, having said that, it works. Um, it now works and it doesn't let all the dust and dirt through into the um, motor. I've been kind of thinking about how can I actually improve this? And I think a way of doing it would maybe to put some uh, sound deadening around the motor. There isn't anything in here, in this top section, apart from the motor mount with the fan in it and the motor itself, the switch. There's no foam or anything in there. And you can actually see the fan. If you look through the vent here, certainly if, you do, if I put it towards the window, there's a window over there, I can actually see the fan. Um, I can see the veins of the fan. So, you know, from a noise point of view, there's nothing there that uh, it even tries to quieten it down. You just hear everything. So that's something I was thinking, maybe I could do that with it. It's surprisingly nice to use as well. I mean, like this, it's, it's very, very small, but the handle goes up to a decent length. It's probably about as tall as a turbo power with the, with the handle up. And that's just on the point of, of me being able to use it. I'm six foot two. Anything shorter than that really hurts my back because I find that like, I'm stooped when I'm pu pushing and pulling it back and forth. Um, it's obviously not one to use for a great length of time. Somebody in the comments said you should use it to vacuum your entire house. <laughs> no, I really, really don't want to use it to vacuum the whole house. I'd be here for days. I would honestly be here for days doing that. Uh, yeah, so that's not a, an option. I think I'll uh, stick to the shark or maybe the Miele upright for that task. But I think what we should do now is take it into the lounge and um, see how well it actually works. I'll put some oats down on the floor. We'll see how it picks them up, see how it does, see if it blocks up at all. I don't think it will. I think it, I think it should be. I think it should be OK. Quite how much dirt I'd be able to fit in there before that bag is full, I don't know. Probably not a great deal. I suppose what I could do is cut that bag down. So if I like cut the bag off and just have it so it kind of fills the, the dust cup. That would probably be a better way of doing it. I'd get more space in there then without having the bag folded down. But I really don't want to cut that bag. That that's not that's not a that's not something like I'm really want to do. Because I might get a Vax one to one one day. No, I've got a Vax one to one. There's one at the garage. Um it used to belong to my senior manager at work many, many years ago. When he left, he gave me his old Vax, which is quite sweet. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I don't want to cut that bag, so uh, I might think about folding it inside a bit better, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, something for another day. So there we go. Thanks, everyone, for the comments on the original video. Hope you've enjoyed this one as well. Um, it's been quite funny to doing this machine. It's like one of those things that you think to yourself, why are you bothering? But uh, it's actually turned out quite well and I do have a useful ultra compact vacuum cleaner now although I've got a Dyson V8 in the kitchen which is a million times more useful than this thing is but uh, there we go yeah I might grab it when something needs to be cleaned up who knows so thank you ever so much for watching um, don't forget to do the usual commenting subscribing and liking because it really helps me out and I appreciate it massively I always love hearing from you you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video we'll take this through and uh, give it a run the next video I think will be revisiting the um, Hoover compact which we saw on Saturday because I've been working on that too and things are pro progressing on it they are not at the point where I had hoped they would be unfortunately but uh, yeah until the next video you guys take care and I will see you soon cheers bye
Shall we see how it's done? I think we'll uh, open it up and put those oats and whatever dirt it's captured in this little tray here. So let's uh, remove this and we'll... Oh wow, goodness me, yeah. That's, that's really funny. All the oats kind of feel like they're up here at the top. There's nothing really down here, which is quite odd. Oh, and then we've got some stuff coming out the bottom. Okay. So let's uh, undo this. And then we'll pour into here. Hopefully, I hope you can see that. Let's move it over a little bit. Okay. Hey, there we go. Nice. Goodness, he's actually picked up some hair as well. Look at that. Wow. No, oh, it didn't do too bad in the end. I am quite impressed with that. Look at that. Ah. Well done, little fella. Right. Time to reassemble this and put it back in the cleaning cupboard. Cheers, guys. Bye.